over there. It's coming, run! So I recently got a new DJI Mini too, as you've seen from Instagram if you follow me on there. And the weather today is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's not amazing compared to like the summer obviously, but considering it's been winter for the past few months, it's a really nice today. So I'm just in the car and we're about to go to Formby Beach and, and give it a go um, and see if we can get a nice video of the sunset. So we're in Formby Woods and the sun's not set yet. So whilst it's um, getting ready to go down, I'm just gonna set the camera up and set the drone up and we're gonna fly through the um, woods whilst we've still got quite good light. And then when the, when the sun starts to set, then we'll probably take it to the beach and actually um, get some um, sunset views above the ocean. One of the things I like about the Mini 2 is that it comes with a bag that you can carry all the stuff in if you buy the fly more com combo which i do recommend because you get three batteries which gives you a 90 minute flight time as you can see it comes with a propeller protector so that when you put it in your bag or if you put it in your pocket the propellers don't get bent or crushed which i think is a nice little addition and then this is the charging hub for the three batteries that you get with the dji mini 2. the good thing about this is that it can charge your phone as it has an output. So if you're ever out using it and your phone dies, then you can use this to charge it, as well as the controller that also does charge your phone at the same time. As you can see from the video so far, the footage is so much smoother than the Holly Stone drone I had. Uh, I ended up sending that drone back because it just, it weren't that good and after a few goes it was un unresponsive, like it just, it wouldn't move in the direction that I was telling it to move in. So I ended up sending that back and getting a refund and then uh, I got this drone last week. So at the moment we're walking towards the beach but we're just looking for a geolocation um, treasure or something. I'm not quite sure what it is, but that's what we're looking for. Um, apparently it's already been found though. And then once we've found that, we're going to head over the sand dunes and try and get a shot of the sunset over the horizon. So we've got to the geolocation and all there is, is a lid. The iPhone is not there. I'm A of kick the ball, 
all the way down the sand dune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fell. <laughs> that was actually quite poor. It was... <laughs> I didn't want to just take his legs fully out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we are like 20, 20, 23 years of age. <laughs> He's just been slammed to the floor. But I didn't see it. I don't know if I caught it on camera. <laughs> I just collapsed as long as I touched him. He's like, I'll go to the side of the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just fell trying to get out the way. So, what do I think about the DJI Mini 2? Well, first of all, I think if you've seen my Hollystone video, it's pretty obvious that the camera on this is far better than the Hollystone drone. The three axis gimbal on the front here really makes so much difference. It makes the videos look so much smoother. You've got no camera shake at all, even when it's windy, like it was at the beach. You, you just there's no camera shake. I also think the the quality of the 4K is actually a lot better than the 4K of the Holly Stone. It seems to have a better contrast and doesn't get as much light exposure, well, overexposure, as the Holly Stone drone does. Now, what you get with it is a battery bank with three batteries in it. That's if you get the Fly More combo, which I, I highly recommend. Each battery has a 31 minute runtime, so all together you get around 93 minutes, but obviously it depends what the weather's like. If it's windy, you're going to get less. If you're in sport mode, you're going to get less because you're using more energy to, to go faster. One of the benefits of this, which I mentioned earlier in the video, I think, is that this actually has an output on, so that if you're ever out and about and your phone dies, then you can actually use this as a portable battery bank to charge your phone or anything else that will be charged via USB. So that's always a good bonus. Now, the next thing that I think is actually really good, and I've seen a lot of people complain about it, and then I've seen a lot of people praise it, but it's the actually the remote. Now, I have seen... A lot of people complain that it's too big, it's too heavy, it's too chunky. But in my opinion, it's actually a perfect size. Though it's a perfect weight, it feels premium because of the weight and um, the build quality. Like it, it feels solid. With the Holly Stone drone, you were lucky to get past 100 before you started losing um, connection, 100 meters, when it was rated at like 500. Um, so to go 10k with this like you've seen in the video those videos i was about two kilometers away from the drone whilst filming like that's unbelievable also i didn't even lose a bar of signal either i was two kilometers away and i had four bars it's actually such a fun drone to fly because it's got level five wind resistance and you've got that smooth camera when you're flying it's so easy to tell where you're going and when you put it in sport mode it can reach about 35 miles per hour, which is unbelievably fast. You can keep up with uh, cars on most roads. So yeah, it, it's a really fun drone. It's easy for beginners to get into. The app's very easy to use. That about wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, guys, then please leave a like and comment below. If you didn't, equally dislike it and tell me why. And as always, keep exploring. One of the things I like about the Mini 2 is that it comes with a carry case. 
that has a strap on it. That's only if you buy the flywheel. No, let's do that again. Let's, let's, okay, okay. As you can see, it comes with a propeller. Uh. As you can see, it comes with a propeller protector. You can't so keep that, that in. I've just said the pedal there, and you just going to talk. Stop then. Stop then. Hiya, David. Hiya. <laughs> okay, no fucking help. Come on, where are we? Right now. Asparagus farm. <laughs> it's too dark to even see. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, we didn't fight. <laughs>